If you're a course instructor like me, you're probably wondering, how am I going to teach my course online in the fall? Well, I'd like to introduce you to my favorite tool. It's called the Lightboard. And the Lightboard is a piece of glass positioned between the camera and the presenter, and it allows me to draw in much the same way I would draw on a blackboard or a whiteboard. So if I have any kind of course content that really necessitates drawing, that's no problem. I can draw as easily as I draw on a whiteboard in the classroom. I can do anything that I would do in a classroom on a whiteboard on the lightboard. More importantly though, it allows me to maintain eye contact. I can continuously face my audience and it helps to maintain that relationship between the student and the instructor, which can be so challenging uh, in online teaching. The other great thing about the Lightboard is it allows me to use existing content. So over the years, I've built up a whole bunch of PowerPoint slides, and I can still use those. So here's one of my PowerPoint slides. I can bring it into this uh, Lightboard world, and I can now even interact with it. If I want to, I can underline words, I can circle things, I can sort of interact with my own slides, which is pretty cool. Um, the students really love this, but it's not just PowerPoints. Um, I can also do this with things like spreadsheets. So if I have content in spreadsheets, or if I have uh, code, basically anything that I can display on a computer screen, I can display together with myself in the Lightboard. And I can step into this. I could step into my computer code if I wanted to. And this is a live window, so I can, I can scroll through this. Um, it's a really, really engaging way uh, to teach. You're probably wondering how I'm doing this. Well, I'm actually in my son's bedroom. That um, uh, window-like object you see on the table, that's the Lightboard. And I'm standing uh, between the Lightboard and the wall which is right behind me, which simply has a black sheet on it. And you can see the, um, the webcam on the tripod in the foreground, and you can see uh, an extra monitor that I use uh, where I can see myself together with my content. Lightboards themselves are not something that's new. And in fact, my relationship with the Lightboard goes back to 2016, where I did a lot of pre-recorded videos for one of my courses. This is a sample of one of the videos. I just also wanted to show this to show that I can um, mix my, my view together with recorded content. Um, I could, of course, use the Lightboard in my home to produce recorded content, but more importantly, I can now use it for live synchronous teaching. And some of these old videos that I did were really my inspiration for the type of quality and look that I was going for in the home setting. So, um, so anyway, that's the Lightboard. I hope that it's sort of of interest to you. I hope you'll give it a try. This is how I'll be doing all of my online teaching, uh, you know, in this coming fall and probably for years to come. I should also point out that the Lightboard is completely compatible with all of the other online teaching platforms that are currently in use. Things like Zoom and Teams and WebEx or whatever you're using, the Lightboard is simply making use of your camera view in those other online platforms for actual teaching. So you don't lose any of the functionality of things like breakout rooms or polls or uh, the chat. You can still use all of that same stuff. The Lightboard is really just your camera view being used for teaching. So. I think it's pretty hard to beat. And like I said, this is how I'll be doing all of my online teaching uh, in the years to come.